Hi everyone and welcome to Daily Revelations. This is a weekly Bible study where we use precept methods to go through different books of the Bible and right now we are in the book of Daniel and this week we are starting out Daniel 8. And so um, if you download the planner which is in the notes below um, you can follow along with that that lesson. Otherwise just listen to me and um, kind of follow what I'm doing and um, open your Bible and do the same thing. That's what this is encouragement is. I am not here to be your teacher. I am here to be your inspiration. So first dive into Daniel 8. We're going to read this chapter through seven times this week, once a day. And the first day I ask you just read it. Read it. Ask the Holy Spirit to just reveal something to you. And then with that, pray and see where God leads you. And the verse that popped out to me was verse 27. I'm going to read that to you. And um, we don't often think about just how taxing sometimes it is to be called by God and, and doing that for the long term. And Daniel's really real about that. He doesn't um, sugarcoat it for us, which most of the authors in the Bible don't. He said this, Then I, Daniel, was exhausted and sick for days. And I got up again, even though he was exhausted and sick, and I carried on the king's business. That wasn't even his job. His job was to do stuff for the king in this country he was exiled in. But I was astounded at the vision, and there was none to explain it. Here he was, and he was told in verse 26, the one before that, by the angel Gabriel, don't tell anyone. This is information for you alone. He's wearied and he's confused because there's no one to give explanation other than Gabriel to his vision, um, which was kind of described, but not really. And then he's alone. And we find ourselves in those places too. And I know I found myself in that place a lot of times. And what do you do? And it's, we keep going. That's what we do. It doesn't mean that God has forsaken us. It doesn't mean that he has forgotten us. It just means that sometimes we walk through these valleys and it doesn't mean the valley is going to last forever, but they are places that we are going to go through and we just have to realize it's part of the journey. So, um, so that's what I just want to encourage you on today. So I want you now to go read through Daniel 8 um, as your first read through. Pray about it and ask God, what do you have to tell me today? And, and see what he has to say. I'm excited for you, so dig in, and then I'll see you again tomorrow with some more inspiration. Bye, everybody.